this is Jess and welcome to my channel. Today this video is going to be about Jurassic World Evolution 2. This is just going to be a quick guide to how to actually release dinosaurs from the hatchery. I know many of you out there are having some issue and problems and difficulties how to actually um, synthesize and then release the dinosaurs from the hatcheries. I know this should have not been included in the sandbox at least I mean it's completely understandable if it's included in the um, campaign mode and the chaos fury mode which I haven't got to yet because I'm currently playing the um, campaign mode but nevertheless I thought it'd be a nice idea for me to actually give you guys an idea to how to actually sensitize the dinosaurs all right without further ado guys let's just actually dig in and begin Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into your staff center, if I can find that one. Here we go. Now here we need to recruit the scientist. So what you need to do is you need to look for the highest skill scientists that are going to be able to excavate and dig the dinosaurs fossils while they're going on the expedition i know it sounds very crazy this wasn't the thing in the previous um Jurassic World evolution one you just sort of like going to the hatchery and your dinosaur is already there for it to be released through the incubation system however that has been changed in the Jurassic World evolution 2 unfortunately you have to go through the scientist to be able to incubate the dinosaurs all right now that i'm looking for the higher skill um scientist so who should we go for in my opinion this last guy is really higher on logistics so i'm gonna hire him i'm gonna look, again look for ones that are going to be higher on genetics. So far, um, wait, wait, wait. This guy matches that. And then you look for a welfare. Who is going to be higher on a welfare? Because welfare counts towards the fact that when you're incubating a dinosaur, and then also correspond to the number of um, requirements needed for that particular um, department such as logistics, genetics and welfare. Alright, I'm going to hire her. Alright, now that we're done with the scientists. Oh, um, by the way, I love this snowstorm. It looks so beautiful. Look how nice the whole environment looks. This is Canada, by the way. I haven't been able to unlock the other location yet in the sandbox, but hopefully we will soon get to it as well. But look at that guys, this is my some creation of um, enclosure, but it looks so beautiful because of the snowstorms happening. Alright, what you're gonna have to do is then go into the hatchery, synthesize a dinosaur. I'm gonna go with a very easy one, we're gonna go with the Carnotaurus. As you can see, it says a fish, insufficient skill. And let's see, a sign scientist. Let's just actually see who is capable of trying to actually synthesize that dinosaur. Okay. She's not. He is, because he's got three already. What about him? Five. So we need another person who is able to actually synthesize Carnotaurus. Let me just actually come quickly see what it was. Okay, so we need another person with genetic skills. So we're gonna quickly do that. It's actually very simple once you get going and you know what you're doing. It was a little bit of a fill fiddly and um, difficult for me at first, but then I kind of like got the hang of it. And now I'm able to actually see what needs to be done. She seems to be the right person for it. Let's just get her. Okay. 
Now I'm sure we have the right people for the job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the hatchery. We're gonna go into the Carnotaurus, assign scientist. And now if this time we click, as you can see, it says start this task. It might take a little bit of a time, depends on what scientist you choose. For me, it says 48 seconds. Once the synthesizing is happening, sorry if I botch the word. Synthesizing, I still can't pronounce it, but anyways. So the synthesizing is over, it's ready to be incubated. So that's just going to be another process that you need to keep in mind. So you need to select the eggs that are going to be good. We're going to select this one. And we're going to select um, this one. So we've got three choices here. You can choose either three or you can choose one or two, whichever your preference is. Go into the assigned scientist and see that corresponded number. I'll be fulfilling it. No. Well, we have, but we still need a one more person. So what I'm going to do is we have to hire another scientist which has that corresponded number. So I'm gonna hire another scientist and I'm gonna look for welfare. There we go, this person it seems to be the right one. All right, now we're gonna go back into the hatchery. Again, select all these three eggs. Now when I go, because this person's already got the four skills for the welfare, and we just need um, her and him. There you go. Start the task. This will take about 2 minutes 50 seconds. Depends on the time it gives to incubate the dinosaur. And I'll show you when it's going to be done. So just wait for a little bit. Have a little bit of patience. And then we will have our Carnotauruses coming out of the hatchery. I'm sure to actually unlock some more dinosaurs as I go along in the game. I'm really excited for the aviary and lagoon um, flying reptile from the aviary and the marine reptile from the lagoon. And I cannot wait to see Mosasaurus, Tylosaurus, Elasmosaurus, and of course Attenborosaurus, Sierradactylus, Marodactylus, um, Tapiara, Pteranodon. Dimorphodon and others. Can't really name all of them. Alright, now that the incubation is done, all you need to do is either release via airlift, which is another option. You don't have to release them through the hatchery, but I want to see the lovely Carnotauruses coming out of the hatchery in three pairs. So one, two, three, let's go. And voila! We have our dinosaurs released! How easy is that? I work with the dinosaurs, and now you do too. I'm Owen Grady. From my experience, I've learned the most important thing is to respect these animals. Because if you don't, they won't have any trouble making you their next meal. I'm sure I don't want them... Nice, a Carnotaurus. You can recognize this predator immediately by Don't the horns myself on its head, to be their next which give it a show. real rock and roll appearance. Those powerful legs can get this dinosaur moving as well, so probably best to stay out of its way. This dinosaur is so metal. So there you go, guys. Carnotaurus is out, it's exploring its territory, it's trying to know how much space it's got. Sometimes they really moan about it, but this time they seem to be quite happy. And it looks nice as well. Are they gonna fight? Ah, they're so adorable. The headbutt fighting for dominance is just so adorable. But yeah, guys, I hope this video really helps you and um, you really like this video. 
and if you do like this video please leave a like and if you're new to my channel don't forget to sub to this channel please for future videos and guides and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye for now everybody